Welcome back to Tightwad Workshop. It's the 20th of April 2023 today, and here in Australia we're expecting a total solar eclipse. Unfortunately for me, the total eclipse will be visible here, and I live here, which is 5,000 kilometres, or about 3,000 miles away. Now I really do like solar eclipses. Back in 2002 I loaded up my motorcycle, met up with my friends, and rode 1,700 kilometres to the middle of nowhere so that I could stand in the dark in the middle of the day for 30 seconds and take five photos. I was a much skinnier man back then, but I did already have a taste for wearing red flannel. I had been planning to travel to Exmouth for today's eclipse, but due to a few unfortunate events over the past few months, I've just not been able to make the trip. We'll still be able to see a partial eclipse here in Canberra, so let's just see what we can do with what we've got on hand to record the event. Back in 2002, I used a fine East German Praktika MTL3 camera with a 400mm telephoto lens attached to a 2 times teleconverter. This was an excellent setup for crude jokes, and also took some good photos. I used a specialised, very dark tinted solar filter on the lens to protect the camera and my eyes. Unfortunately all that gear is now long gone, and I've left it way too late to go shopping for new camera equipment. So we're just going to have to make do with my regular camera, this cheap 400mm telephoto lens, and the tinted glass out of this welding visor. This glass isn't ideal because it's tinted green and it's not quite big enough to cover the whole lens, so I'll just improvise with this piece of cardboard. Now I also don't have a proper astronomical tripod that will automatically pan to keep the sun framed in the shot, so every five minutes I'll need to relocate the sun in the top right corner of the frame, then let it drift across to the lower left. I'll repeat that ten times and then fix the image tracking up in post. Once I strung them all together and speed them up 120 times, I should have a runtime that's about the same as the totality period of my 2002 eclipse. So a few hours of editing later, let's see what we've got. So was it worth it? Well, no, not really. But you have to remember that I'm the guy who once rode 2,000 miles to take five photos. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Tightwad Workshop is filmed in front of a shy studio audience. 